Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel Lopez with Invest in You Finance and today we are going to talk about how you can get five to $25,000 in your account as fast as one to three business days. All right, let's get into the video and I'm gonna show you guys what I got on the board behind me. So if you wanna get between five to $25,000 the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is call up your bank. Wherever you have your credit cards, you're gonna call up the bank and you're gonna ask them, hey, what kind of promotions do I have? And then they'll let you know, hey, you have these promotions right now with your credit card. I think you can go online and also look at those promotions, but the best thing to do is just talk to someone on the phone. They are gonna try and upsell you all these things but you know you're just strictly calling for information because you can call your credit card company and you can ask them all types of questions that's what they're there for they're there to help you out and get all that information to you so that being said i'm gonna tell you guys a story on how i was able to get ten thousand dollars like i said it, there's a range and that range depends on your credit and things like that so I'm gonna just share with you guys a story on how I was able to get $10,000. And guys, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult with your financial advisors. Please consult with your CPAs. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a CPA. I'm just sharing a story with you guys on how I was able to do it. So I called the bank and I was asking about balance transfer checks. I heard about it. And I even Googled it and I said, you know what, I'm just going to call them and I'm just, I mean, I'm a customer. I'm going to ask him what balance transfer checks are. So I called them and I say, Hey, what's a balance transfer check? And they're like, Oh, okay. If you want to transfer a balance from one credit card to another, we'll send you a check in the mail for that credit card. And you write the check out and where you want that balance to go to if you have another credit card. So I said, okay. And they said, what, uh, what do you need that for? And I said, no, I'm just calling for information. I just want to know what that is just in case I ever need to use it. And they said, okay, well, now that I have you on the line, upsell, can, uh, we go over some promotions you have? And I was like, sure. I mean, let me know what I have. And they said, oh, well, it looks like you've been a customer, blah, blah, blah. For X amount of years, uh, here's your promotion on your credit card. And I said, what is it? They said, we have a direct deposit cash advance. And I'm like, okay, what is that? And they, and they said, well, basically we can transfer money from your credit card to your checking account, checking account that's with us. So I said, okay. And Tell me more. And they said, there is a 4% fee on however much we transfer. And I said, well, how much can we transfer? And they said, oh, uh, how much do you want? And I just, I just threw a number out. I just said, uh, $10,000. How much? And they said, uh, let me check. Okay, yeah, we could do it. So what I should have said was, how much is the max or what is the range that you guys will let me, let me get? But I just wanted to, you know, throw out a number. So I threw out $10,000 and they said, we can do $10,000 up to, you know, however much amount, up to how much your actually, okay, now that I'm remembering, however much your credit card limit is. So if you have a credit card that only has a limit of $3,500, that's the max minus their fee of 4%. That's okay, now I'm remembering. So the fee is 4%. So my credit card has whatever, X amount of dollars, max that I can use. So I just said, uh, can I borrow $10,000? They said, yes. They said, it'll be a fee of 4%. The 4% is $400. When they transfer the money, the $10,000, basically your credit card will now have a negative balance of the $10,000 plus the fee of 4%. So they'll transfer $10,000 to your checking account, and then 
your new balance on your credit card that you owe is gonna be 10,400. But here is the nice thing about it. Here's what, what made it interesting to me is that they said with this promotion, you pay 0%, meaning I borrow that $10,000 at 0% up until however long the promotion was. Sometimes the promotion can be 12 months, sometimes it can be 18 months. So if it was 12 months, that meant that I would have to pay back that $10,000 within that 12 month period or now here's the risky part if i don't pay it back by then they're going to start charging me 25 percent interest so this is where they get you this is how credit card companies make their money they'll lend you however much money that your credit score will allow you and then ultimately they're just going to keep adding all these fees, adding a crazy percentage like this. So I definitely recommend if you can, when it comes to credit cards, you pay your balance off every month in full. Anyways, getting back to this. If I do not pay back that $10,000 before the promotion ends, then they start charging me 25% interest rate. But initially, it's 0%, anywhere from 12 to 18 months. So this is where it gets interesting just because, like I said in my other videos, if you're gonna get debt, which credit card debt is negative to your net worth, you are going to want to somehow make that money increase because you're going to have to give it back. They're basically saying, here's $10,000, you can borrow it for a year. After that year, we're gonna start charging you. And it's, I mean, just like I preach, compound interest is like, whatever, the seventh wonder of the world. It's so amazing, you're gonna get so rich as long as you invest this much amount. Compound interest works in the opposite way as well. It can make you rich, but it can also totally just bring down your net worth because that's how credit card companies make their money. They use high interest rates on top of that with compound interest. Then you start digging a ditch and it accelerates so fast that it's going to be extremely hard to get out of credit card debt because of what helps you, compound interest, also hurts you, compound interest. So if you do this, the risk is you have to pay this money back before that end, before that year ends, because otherwise 25% of $10,000 is $2,500. So not only did you pay the $400 fee, initially the 10,400, because they charged you 4% to borrow it, borrow the 10,000. If you don't pay it back by the end of the year or however long the promotion ends, if you're doing it, you wanna look for a, you know, a longer period of time. But, so you're gonna have to add $2,500 on top of that. So that's 10,000, sorry, 12,900. So 12,900 is what you're gonna owe them. And then that number is just gonna keep, then you're gonna do 25% on that number. And then it's just boom, 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 compound interest kicks in. And before you know it, you owe them you know, X amount of money and you're like, I can't pay this back. So the only reason you would borrow X amount of money is to maybe start a business, maybe buy inventory for a business that you currently have. Maybe you're buying or flipping a house and you need money to put a down payment or you need to pay a contractor, something that requires cash for you to pay with. That's why you'd want, because 
Otherwise, you would just use your credit card. If whoever accepted your credit card, then you would use your credit card and you'd pay no interest for X amount of months and that would be it. But this is if you need to get cash and you need to pay cash or you need to use that cash to make you money. And that's the only way it makes sense to borrow this money is if you can somehow increase the $10,000. Let's say, uh, let's just say you have $10,000 and it goes up um, 20%. That means that that $10,000 turned into $12,000 over the course of the time. And you're gonna pay back what you owe them. So immediately you owe them the 1,400. And that means that you're left with 1,600. Sorry. So if that $10,000 made and you made 20% in however you, you know, conduct the business with it, then that means you made $2,000 and you had to pay back 10,000 400 so 12,000 minus 10,400 that's 1600 dollars that you got to keep at the end of the, the promotion period so this is just one way to get cash pretty quick using your credit card to get a direct deposit cash advance and they will talk you on the talk with you on the phone and initiate that process and I think within the next day or two you'll get the money deposited into your checking account so that's one way the other way is a less riskier way but you have to have a car that's paid off a used car and it has to fall in within the limits of what the bank uh, has set and you're gonna use a refinance auto loan. So if you have a car that's paid off, you're gonna call the bank and you're gonna say, hey, I wanna refinance my, my car loan. How much money will you guys lend me on this, on this uh, auto loan? And then right away, they'll tell you how much your car is worth and how much they're willing to lend you. I'm just using like a $10,000 car, for example. There has, there's all these requirements. Like it has to be less than, you know, five or 10 years old, has to have less than so many miles. But if they lend you $10,000, you're gonna give them the title and basically you're giving them the car and they're giving you the money. So once, once you give them the title, they give you the money, you're gonna have to make monthly payments. Typically, um, 60 months, so five years. And if you borrow $10,000, your payment is gonna be 193 per month for five years every month. And the interest rate, I chose 6% because right now interest rates are really high. Um, of course, depending on your credit, and this is why it's good to have good credit, you can get a better interest rate. I chose 6%, that's a pretty high rate, but this is just an example. So the total interest of the loan is gonna be $1,599, so basically $1,600, so $1,599. That's, at the end of five years, that's how much interest you paid, the 6% interest. And the total cost of the loan is just the interest plus the principal that they lent you. So $11,599.68. So that means that borrowing this $10,000 over the course of five years, you ended up paying in payments back to the bank $11,599.68. And what you did with that money is the important part. Did you double that $10,000 because you bought inventory for a business and you sold products. Uh, for example, let's say you drop shipped, you bought some products from Alibaba or AliExpress, 
uh, you got whatever you got a bunch of markers and you ended up buying you know 10k worth of markers and you sold two uh, twenty thousand dollars so that means that you got to keep ten thousand dollars from the twenty thousand dollars that you made so the whole point of getting money fast or the reason I did it is to either you know get 20% back minimum get 30% back 40% back turn that $10,000 into something and that's the whole the whole goal if you're borrowing money you never want to get into debt like I said in my other videos you never want to have debt that's not making you money I have taken uh, auto refinance an auto refinance loan and you have to use that money to make you money because in my mind they're lending me ten thousand dollars over the course of five years I need to turn that ten thousand dollars into something that's like really a significant amount and I have a video about that where I show how I turned um, twenty thousand dollars into I basically doubled it. I think oh, I turned it into forty six thousand dollars. So you can go check that video out. And, oh, it's how I made how I turned twenty one thousand dollars into forty six thousand dollars. Go check out that video. Anyways, guys, here are two ways to get cash fast from one to three business days direct deposit cash advance or a used car auto refinance loan. Both have risks. Of course, if you don't pay back the bank, then they're just gonna repo repossess your car and that's it. You lost your car. But anyways, guys, these are two ways to get fast cash. And if you're considering doing something for your business or you're trying to uh, get inventory, you're going to want to really calculate how much money you can make with the money that you're borrowing. Because if you're not getting more than the interest rate, 6%, then you're breaking even over the course of five years. So you're gonna to wanna to make more than this $1,600. This And this used car auto refinance loan, you have five years to do it, to pay it back. But you have to pay a monthly payment. So you're gonna pay 193 every month. With a direct deposit, just to recap everything, you might only have a year to pay that $10,000 back. So how fast are you gonna turn that $10,000 into 15,000 or 20,000? That's the question. Is your idea that good? Are you gonna go start a pressure wash business? Are you gonna go buy the equipment and hire hire someone or do it yourself are you gonna go door knock and say hey your driveway looks pretty oily do you want me to are you interested in checking out how much it costs to pressure wash your driveway so that's something that you might want to consider so you want to have a business plan or something to make this money work for you and that's the only way I would borrow any money is if it's going to make me money period that's it so think about this um, I've done both ways and yes you do have to pay it back at the end you do have to pay you know off the, the car loan and you do have to pay back the bank or your credit score is gonna get messed up no one's gonna want to lend you money and it's gonna be harder for you even to uh, find a place to rent because when you rent the apartment complex or the landlord is going to check your credit so you always want to make sure you pay off your credit card by the date you're supposed to if not in full make sure you at minimum make the minimum payment so that way your credit score is not affected anyways guys I hope this video brought you value I appreciate you guys coming go check out my other videos I have so many videos out there I'm doing a challenge right now where I'm posting one video a day I'm on day 11 Please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Thank you for coming. Peace.